What's going on guys? It's Mark and John here, your REI advocates. Guys, we've got a lot of things changing, uh, especially in the REI world, uh, not just the weather, right? We're getting into a little bit of a cold chill. We've got some really awesome tips and, uh, and tricks to go over in the coming months, so make sure you're tuning in. But John, what else is changing in their world? So a lot of you guys are finally starting to feel the relief for being able to evict the tenants who took advantage of the eviction moratorium or the eviction ban. And one of the things that we're already starting to see that we want to make sure that you guys uh, are well aware of is some of those tenants, they don't leave quietly. So there's a difference between a tenant that lives hard in, in the home. Uh, they confuse your homes with the barn and they just you know, don't live well and there's a big cleanup. But there's also a difference between a tenant who, when they get served the eviction, come out kicking and screaming and start tearing up your property. That's why we're talking about vandalism and malicious mischief. There's a lot of different things that it can uh, cover. There are things that it can't cover, and there's a lot of different variables. So last month we talked about the right policy and the cheap policy. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the cheap policy, one of the reasons it's cheap, is they exclude vandalism and malicious mischief. So we want to make sure that your policy, especially right now for those homes where we're going to be pulling people out of and they may go kicking and screaming um, and, and get vindictive, that your policy policy has that. Last Friday, uh, we filed a claim where the tenant, when they were evicted, they busted out all the windows, they busted out all the interior doors and exterior doors, they punched holes into the wall, and they actually went as far as taking animal blood and spread it all over the walls and all the way down the stairs. That is not something that you want your insurance agent to tell you, sorry, you're on the hook for all of that. So vandalism and malicious mischief, that's the topic we're talking about this month to make sure that we're doing a good job getting you guys taken care of and we can really transition into that personal rainbow time when the moratorium's over. Yeah. Well, first off, guys, John, you're doing a freaking phenomenal job. Thank you. Uh, guys, we, uh, I can't tell you how much it means not only to the agency, but to all the partners that keep calling uh, for the wealth of knowledge and information that he has done, not only to distribute that to you, but also uh, to protect you and uh, help with your policy. Well, that brings us to our next step. Guys, if you have bought, sold, or thinking about buying any properties in the last couple of weeks, we also we already had a couple of our guys uh, let us know yesterday that they bought a house last week. That's not a problem, right? We're probably one of the only agencies uh, here, definitely in central Illinois, that can continue to keep that coverage going, even if you forget about us, just for a little bit. Uh, so give us a call and let us know. Uh, but to bring us to this next point, John, who, what local business are we spotlighting this month? So this month I want to spotlight Helping Hands of Springfield and specifically Nick Dotson is our contact there and you'll find his information down below. They are a resource for people who are in crisis that need uh, help with housing and they have plenty of people who are needing some assistance. They have plenty of funds to be able to make sure that you have guaranteed funds uh, for these people that are needing placement. But the other thing that I think is really neat that they worked on is they've started to get some grant money to come in that basically says if you take on one of these people who are in crisis that they're paying for their um, rent and that tenant tears up your property, they actually have grant money. And instead of you calling us and saying, hey, we need to turn a claim in, they actually are going to cover those damages. And Nick can talk with you more about that. He's spearheading that program. He's really excited about it. And one of the things that really when we talk about your profitability of your portfolio, being able to get guaranteed rent in with a guaranteed, uh, if something goes wrong, someone else is paying for it, is hard to pass up. So Nick is a great resource for that. He's uh, really trying to help people who are down on their luck in the, our area be able to put it in there. And he's just trying to connect with as many real estate investors. So if you've got some open homes and you uh, want to hear more about that program, uh, they're trying to make it as risk-free as possible, contact Nick Dotson with Helping Hands in Springfield. That's awesome, guys. Common theme around here is we just want to help. So if you have any questions at all, definitely reach out to us. We can't wait to work with you. Until then, we'll see you next month. See you guys. Insurance, we have plans.